Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a lead in Zoho CRM after someone schedules an event in Calendly. All right, let's get started. So I already have the flow open here, and the first thing we can see is the trigger. Every time someone schedules an event in Calendly, then this workflow is gonna be executed. And the first thing we do is format some dates. Calendly has a really specific way to format dates, but Zoho CRM requires a different format. So let me show you how that looks like. We use this variable from Calendly, and this is the format of that date. And then this is the final format, the one that Zoho CRM requires. I have another video on how to format dates in Zoho Flow, so I'm going to link it in the description down below. Next, we have a decision to make. In this case, you want to create different leads depending on the source. So let me show you one of them. And in Calendly, we ask where did they hear about us? and they have some options to select. And when the event is created, Calendly sends that information. In these two variables are called questions and responses and questions and answers. So if any of those variables contain, in this case, Facebook, then the lead that's gonna be created in Soho CRM is gonna show Facebook as the source. And then I added this condition as well that double checks that the event has not been canceled. This has to do with when someone reschedules an event, Calendly cancels the first event that was scheduled originally and then creates a new event with the reschedule information. So to avoid any conflicts, I added this variable here and it works. All right, let me close this window. And then the other ones are all the same. For YouTube, we're trying to find the word YouTube in the questions and answer variables and same for Pinterest and the other ones. So after the event has been scheduled and the source has been identified, let's say it was YouTube, then we're going to create or update a lead in Zoho CRM. And then we have first name that comes from Calendly. Here we have the lead status, then the last name as well from Calendly. The lead source is going to be YouTube. Email comes from Calendly as well. Then we have phone from Calendly, group meeting info from Calendly as well. And then we have down below the group meeting date, which came from the custom function that we added at the beginning. And that's pretty much it. If someone reschedules, this workflow is going to be triggered as well. And instead of creating a new lead, it's going to update the old lead. Now, let me show you the workflow if someone cancels the event. So the trigger is going to be different. When someone cancels the event in Calendly, then we're going to make a decision here. And I'm going to show it to you. So for this workflow to trigger, the variable invitee reschedule has to be false. Like I mentioned before, when someone reschedules, the first event gets canceled and a new one is created. And the difference between the events is that the one that has been canceled completely is gonna say that the invitee did not reschedule. So in this case, invitee to schedule is false. The other event, the one that was rescheduled, is gonna say that the invitee reschedule is true. So this is what we do to avoid any conflict and get double cancellations. And then finally, we create or update the lead in Soho CRM. And when we edit it, we can see that pretty much all looks the same, except for the lead status that is changed to lost. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. I have other videos about Zoho products on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.